was just sitting in my car at work and saw this. It just warmed my heart. We need more of this today. Would you agree? Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are true. Hey girl, hey, my name is Opal May. So I forgot to do an intro. So this is the intro. Sorry guys. So today's video, I know winter is nearly gone. This is an old video, but I had to get it out. Okay. Content that's just sitting. I apologize. So winter's almost over, but I still wanted to show you all. How to make a nice, good, hearty, hearty bowl of protein packed oatmeal. Look at that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And I hope you will make this oatmeal, still cut oatmeal at home. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay guys, so I know I'm pretty close. So I'm now on camera. I look decent now. I've showered and took the bonnet off of my head. So here, so we gotta get these, these good hearty breakfast in to warm the soul. Do you wanna warm your soul? I want my soul to be warmed in the mornings when it's cold. I mean, coffee does it. So a nice bowl of oatmeal just warms your soul no butter no sugar all natural and it's good so if you're interested stay tuned okay so I'm gonna show you all how to make the oatmeal before the video gets started so these are steel cut rolled oats from sprouts so I use water. I also use milk, any kind of milk that you want to use. I just happen to be using Almond Breeze today. And then what I do is I put it on very low here. We will place our lid and let it start cooking. Okay guys, so 10 minutes later. So I let it sit, put it on low while I'm getting ready for work in the morning. So I just kind of keep that same pattern, but follow the instructions that are on the box, okay? So after about 10 minutes, I come back, I turn it up. Because you can see that 10 minutes is kind of just, it cooked a small bit. So I just want to show you all, when I say cooked, see how it cooked a small bit? It's soft, but not ready to eat. Now that it's almost done, I'm going to add some cinnamon. And I like a lot of cinnamon. It's a good spice. So I turned it up, and our oatmeal is done. So we're going to go ahead and plate it, okay? Now I let it sit for about five minutes, so it gives you that thick, thick consistency that I like. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our oatmeal in the bowl. All right, so now we are going to add our toppings. Okay, so remember, no butter, no sugar, okay? So what we're going to do first is put our peanut butter. About a tablespoon or two really is enough, guys. So you got your protein, you got your fiber. Then, now I generally, generally <laughs> would use a fresh banana. Um, well, this is a fresh banana, but more raw. You understand what I'm saying? So I can cut it up and make it look nice. However, 
I didn't want my bananas to go, but well, they are going bad. So I put them in the refrigerator and I'm not going to throw them away because what? We don't waste around here. I'm in my grateful and thankful stage. A lot of people do not like their bananas like this. I don't either. However, this is gonna give you a nice sweet taste. No sugar, no butter. Peanut butter is gonna be your butter, okay? Cause it's gonna give it that smooth consistency that you're looking for. And this banana here, it's gonna give you that sugar. Besides that, it's gonna be other things. Throw that in there. That's gonna give you your sugar, okay? So, I know that looks gross right now. I promise you, this is the best oatmeal you can have without any butter or sugar. Okay, now we're going to add our blueberries. I just picked these up from Costco. You can get them from anywhere, Sprouts, wherever. All right. We're going to load it. That's more sweetener. Nice, natural sweeteners though these are natural sweeteners all right we're also going to add us some chia seeds because chia seeds give us energy okay we are also going to add flax flax is good for blood pressure if you have a slightly elevated blood pressure it's been proven to decrease your pressure okay so flax because flax is good for the digestive system as well. What is gonna make you do? Poop, right? <laughs> so, I'm just add a little more, make it a full tablespoon, okay? We are also gonna use hemp seeds. More protein, more protein in this already protein-packed oatmeal, okay? I'm eating healthy, so we have our Hemp seeds, hold hemp seeds, H-U-L-L-E-D, okay? We also have some pecans, more sweets, just a little bit, okay? And then we have some cashews. Now all this I'm putting in here, you don't have to if you are not crazy for nuts type of person, but remember, I'm trying to be very healthy, so nuts, seeds, and things are really good to um, fill you up. Once again, it's protein. They're good snacks, all right? So we have that. So just a little more. I think I have everything that I would, oh, my apples, hang tight. Okay? So here's our apples, and we're gonna put those in there, kind of make it look a little neater. <laughs> Okay, I'm no longer using butter and sugar in my oatmeal. That's what I want to hear because I'm here to help you, not to hurt you. This is what it looks like. So we have our pecans, which are candy just a bit for sure, or caramelized, I should say. We have our cashews. We have our frozen blueberries. You can use frozen fruit or fresh, doesn't matter. We have our chias, we have our flax seeds that are under there, and our apples and our whole hemp. Look at that. That looks so good, right? Delightful. Look at that. That's a better shot, a much better shot for you guys. Beautiful. Just absolute beautiful. We're going to eat this. It's going to be so good. Let's go ahead and stir this up. So I'm not gonna eat out of it. I'm just gonna put some in a bowl, save some for tomorrow. I promise, at least I think I do, you will never use butter or sugar
Ever since I started doing this, I have not used butter or sugar or health conscious. Okay, so let's get a smaller bowl. So now we are going to do our taste test. Remember I said I would come back, give you all a taste test. I feel like I'm so close to this camera. And I am. <laughs> mm, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. Just got over COVID while well, I'm still dealing with it actually. So there's a cough. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So this is our oatmeal. We got the apple, a pecan, a cashew, depending on what kind of nuts you like. You put the kind of nuts you like. Pumpkin seeds are good too, and they're good for you, okay? So I got a little bit of everything in here. The blueberries, a big old, a big good gulp of it too. It's cold now. <laughs> Warm it up if you need to. Flavorful. Very, very, very flavorful. I need a nut though. Mmm. Mmm. The apple. The pecan. Mix together. Don't forget I use cinnamon. This is a good oatmeal to make. It's hearty. It's healthy. Very healthy. Fibrous. Energetic. It has the antioxidants in it. It doesn't get any better. And the sugar is natural sugars. The hint of that peanut butter, you can taste it just a bit. You can use almond butter, cashew butter, any butter you want. Just try your hardest not to use a regular butter. This peanut butter, it just pours so nicely. So that's why I used it for the video. Um, doesn't matter what you use, okay? And then any kind of milk, almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, rice milk, but that gives your oatmeal a nice creamy flavor as well. I have regular oatmeal, I have still cut oatmeal. Now still cut oats from what I've from what I've read, it's unprocessed. So it makes it more coarse, which is thick when it cooks, which is going to stick to the stomach. It's going to make you fuller longer. It takes a little longer to cook, but that's okay. Just put it on while you're getting ready, showering or on the phone, whatever it is, just put it on low. You can put it on high, but you might forget, okay? So I just put mine on low and then come back and check it, all right? So, mm. <laughs> it's good. It took too long to eat it though, so it is cold. Still good though. And it doesn't have that sweet, 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 sweet taste like sugar. It's a good, it's a right amount of sweet. My grandmother made some of the best oatmeal and cream of wheat. That sugar and that butter would set it off with some toast and some bacon when I ate pork. Whew. And then when I had my kids and started giving them the same thing, we would have like chicken sausage or Jimmy Dean sausage. Mm. Some of the best. But as I'm getting older, we are getting older. Things have to change. We have to eat better. That lady knows she can make some oatmeal and cream of wheat. And I know I could too because I learned from her. But I had to put things to a halt. So remember, eat your oatmeal. Just make it healthy. And if you have children or grandchildren, just try to change up for them too. So they don't have to struggle to do away with so many bad habits because it's hard to stop doing certain things, not eat soda, not eat, I mean, not drink soda, not eat this, not eat that, not drink this, not drink that. It's hard. So let's just, let's get them on the right start. Okay. Anyway, you guys, that's it. It's been real. It's been fun. But your girl is done. Bye.